Three lawsuits filed against New York City in the same day as migrants bust to the suburbs force wedding parties out of this hotel. We're following the developments here at home and around the country nearly 24 hours after the expiration of Title 42. We thank you for joining us at 11. I'm David Ushery. And I'm Natalie Pascarella. We saw the long lines form today at official processing points in the South, where more than 10,000 migrants were apprehended along the border in the hours before Title 42's end. Now, as New York City prepares for the arrival of additional asylum seekers, Orange County is taking new action, filing three lawsuits in the same day to block the city from placing them in area hotels. News 4's Jessica Cunnington kicking off our team coverage tonight with the growing fallout. Hectic. Unbelievable. With a wedding in almost a week, this Queens couple beyond stressed with a last minute hole in their plans. We have family coming from Ireland, England, Canada, Ecuador, Japan. 37 rooms they booked at the Crossroads Hotel in Newburgh for their wedding guests next weekend, all canceled as dozens of asylum seekers arrived and moved in on Thursday. And we figured that it would probably be a situation where they would be there, but we'd also be there and it would just be fine. When we called the manager. She basically verbally informed us that no, we've canceled all the blocks for the next few months. The past 48 hours, they've been scrambling, telling their family and friends and working on rebooking while time is ticking. Right. Like If we hadn't called them, they wouldn't have called us or emailed us. Mind blowing. Gary Moretti and Deanna Mifsud are getting married on June 24th and had more than 15 rooms booked at the crossroads. They called them this morning. So you're yeah. going in circles because nobody wants to say anything no. and then and then they just hang up on you on Friday Orange County in the town of Newburgh filing lawsuits against New York City and the crossroads and Ramada at Wyndham aiming to block any use of the hotels as temporary shelters it's a complete mess and the government has not been forthright and honest with us some may not like it but people can't say we, we're not communicating. In response to those lawsuits, the mayor's office says it's reviewing its legal options and that right now we're asking Orange County to manage less than one fourth of one percent of asylum seekers who have come to New York City with New York paying for shelter, food and services. The heated political back and forth continues while these two couples who say they were also blindsided by crossroads, they're staying positive for their special days coming up. There's really no excuse for not communicating with us. What matters is that we're there and that our friends and family can see us there. So in a way, like it's kind of brought home what's most important about the whole thing. News 4 made multiple calls to Crossroads Friday evening. No one picked up. Jessica Cunnington, News 4, New York. Another city is pushing back against New York City's plan to transport migrants to nearby suburbs. Yonkers says it welcomes the roughly 100 asylum seekers set to arrive in the coming days but condemns what it calls the lack of communication from the Adams administration. News Force Chris Jose continues our team coverage. He's at the hotel where those incoming migrants, Chris, will be housed. Right, David. As of right now, the migrants are scheduled to arrive here sometime on Sunday. The mayor of Yonkers telling us tonight, look, his city is willing to step up and help, but not like this. He wants a plan. What we're saying is, uh, where are the resources? Mayor Mike Spano bracing for New York City to send migrants to Yonkers. He says up to 100 will be busted the Ramada Inn on Tuckahoe Road. His own police force giving him the heads up Friday. NYPD heard from NYPD that yes. they're going to be busting migrants up here starting tomorrow? Yes. And, and you didn't hear directly from the city yourself? Did not. Did not. Spano learning migrant families will be housed at the hotel for at least a year. The first bus expected to arrive on Sunday. Mayor Adams' office telling us Yonkers was given two days' notice. Have you spoken directly to Mayor Adams? I have not spoken directly to Mayor Adams. I did speak to his uh, deputy chief of staff, who uh, apologized and said that uh, I was on her list. To, uh, to call. At the Port Authority bus terminal, asylum seekers continue to stream in, adding to the growing tally of 65,000 migrants who moved to New York City in the past year. I think the governor has not done enough 
or what she can do, helping to coordinate a statewide response. Governor Hochul now asking the president to allow the city to use federal land, including Floyd Bennett Field in Brooklyn, to build an emergency shelter for migrants. This comes as the entire New York City congressional delegation sent a letter to the president asking the federal government to allow asylum seekers to work here legally. Aquí la comodidad, pues, es muy poca. Ricardo Aguilar arrived two days ago after he was processed in San Antonio. Ellos, pues, nos un in Spanish, Aguilar telling us shelter workers presented him and his family an offer to head to a hotel in the suburbs, but he wanted to stay in the city. The mayor of Yonkers now scrambling to help hundreds of others with little notice. You're talking about 100 families. Are they two kids per family, three kids per family? I don't know. But I do have to prepare our school district for it. And, you know, the answer I got was, well, you know, be happy this is the summertime. Mayor Spano says with no additional resources, it'll cost his city millions. Live in Yonkers, Chris Jose, News 4 New York. All right, Chris, thank you. And the mayor's effort to find housing for migrants is coming under fire from within the city as well. In Brooklyn, city council member Ari Kagan said he found out today that some asylum seekers would be housed in a gym at PS 188 in Coney Island. He called that unacceptable and raised concerns about student safety. Kagan later said he was told the school would be used only as a future overflow site if necessary. According to a city hall spokesperson, there's no one currently staying at PS 188. The spokesperson also said that security would be on hand at sites where migrants are staying. As our coverage of the migrant crisis continues here at home, News 4's Gabi Acevedo is on the road. He moves to the southern border to document the situation there. Look for his live reports starting Sunday right here on News 4.